So again, a similar sum as shown in the last video. The equation of the curve has a second derivative, which is given by d square by by dx square. That's how you write your second order derivative. Is six x plus six. The curve passes through the points one comma minus one and two comma four. Find the equation of the curve. Now, when you're asking you to find the equation of a curve, you you have to find out y. So they have given you d square y by dx square. From that, you have to find out y. So basically, I'll be integrating it twice. So let's see how do we proceed with this. So to begin with, when you integrate your d square y by dx square, which is given to be six x plus six, when you integrate it once, you'll get dy by dx. So if I integrate my d square y by dx square, I'll get dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to six x square x raised to n plus one over n plus one. Upon two plus derivative of constant is constant time x six x plus the integrating constant is c. So two threes are two into three. I'll substitute this. Now, I mean I'll cancel this off. So that's your three x square plus six x plus c. That's your dy by dx. Now y will be integral of this further. So I don't. I, there's no way I can find out c like the last sum. I don't know the gradient, so I can't find c in this case. So y will be integral of this. So when I when I integrate this again, I'll use the same thing. So x square that's x cube over three x raised to n plus one over n plus one six x square over two plus integral of constant integral of c is cx plus some other constant d. Let me call this d. So this and this cancels off. This cancels off with three. So y is equal to x cube plus three x square plus six uh, cx plus d. So where c and d are to be determined. Now we can easily find them. We know these two points. So there are two unknowns, and we get two points. I'll substitute each of them. So one comma minus one. So this is x and this is y. I'll put this in place of y and one in place of x. So minus one is equal to one plus three into one is one plus c plus d. So therefore c plus d is equal to minus five. This is four, and so that becomes minus five. So that's my equation one. Two four, so this is x and this is y. I'll again put these values in this equation over here. So I'll put my y as four and I'll put my x as two. That's my second equation. So four two cube is eight. Three into two square is four. Four threes are twelve. Two c plus d. Yeah, simplify that. So four two c plus d is equal to twenty minus twenty minus sixteen. Second equation. Now these two equations you solve simultaneously to find out C and D. Okay, so I'll use elimination method. D is the same thing, so I'll cancel off. With. Correct. So C is equal to minus 11. I'll put this value in any of the equations. So let me put in the first equation. So minus 11 plus D is equal to minus 5. So that will give me D as 6. Therefore, my Y is equal to. Now I'll put the C and D back in this equation over here. So that's your x cube plus 3x square minus 11x plus 6. So I'm putting my same limit. That's the equation of the curve. So let me repeat what we did is we had the second order derivative to find the original curve. I integrated it twice. There are the two set of points which are given. I substitute them and I got the answer. So I got to C and D and put it back.